because you know I saw people doing their little fall you know looks and starting with their fall palette choices and all that good stuff and I'm like I like fall okay so <laughs> I decided to go ahead and do my fall makeup picks you know from my own stuff some of the items are brand new to me brand new to my collection I haven't tried them yet and I'm really excited to try them and some items are old favorites. Now, when I was perusing through, typically I just do my fall palettes, you know, that I want to pull and stuff. Y'all know I can't do 10, okay? That, I can't do 10, okay? I have way too many palettes <laughs> to just choose 10. So anyway, it's going to be a long video. So get you something to snack on, something to drink on, you know, whatever. Do your laundry, whatever you need to do. To hang out with your girl and just kind of see what I picked for my fall makeup now like I was saying I typically just pick palettes but this time I said you know what I want to pick some blushes some highlighter um you know even some eyeliners little stuff like that lipsticks so like I said it's gonna be a little bit well y'all used to long videos for me okay I don't even know how to do a short video anymore so let's go okay so I'm gonna start out this is my little fall makeup <laughs> acrylic, okay? So I'm going to start out just running through these palettes right quick because, yeah, it's a lot. Okay, so let me get set up here. And I'm basically just going to show this stuff because if I get to talking and swatching, it's really going to be long. So the first palette I pulled here is this Ace Mute. This is their Floral Vintage Palette uh new i don't know if it's their latest but it's new and i picked this up in the boxy add-on i think it was only like seven bucks or something like that and i was like oh those are some really pretty colors and i think that this is really really perfect to play with for fall so really excited to try this out newer palette to my collection that i haven't tried yet but yeah this is the ace Beauté floral vintage now this one I've had for quite a long time. This was my first P. Louise palette that I ever purchased. And this one is what, the Secret Center? Yeah, Secret Center palette. And it's really pretty with the little feathers in there. You know, their palettes are very big and bulky. So I have to kind of put this one off to the side. But when I opened it up to take a look when I was making my choices, I was like, yeah, that's a nice, beautiful fall feeling palette. Some of the colors in here are kind of bright, so you can use it in spring and summer as well. But I kind of feel like it gives me a nice fall vibe. So I did choose that. And when I'm pulling my makeup and shopping my stash, I like to kind of choose a variety of different um, makeup price range, you know, different brands, indie, mainstream, stuff like that. So you will see like a, a good mixture in here. Next, I have this new It's a Mood palette from ColourPop. Ugh, when I saw this palette, I was like, man, that's gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. I had to have it. I think this palette is beautiful. I love this color story. It has all the color stories I love. The purple, the blue, the green. Got some burgundies and earth tones in here. Even got a little bit of gray and silver to play with. But this green, this green, it's just, it's bomb. That is what I use to create this eye look today. And I must say, I really, really love this palette. Okay, so I'm excited about that. I had to grab my ABH Norvina. What is this, volume five? Yeah. This one here, oh, 
first of all i love purple and i love purple all year round but i definitely love purple during the fall and this palette when i look at it it just makes me smile okay i'm sorry but if you love purple this is the palette for you this palette ugh, it truly just makes my heart skip a beat okay i love it it's gorgeous it's beautiful now i wanted to add in a nice kind of retro eclectic type of vibe for shadows for me to play with so this is the nyx ultimate utopia um i would say it's affordable because it's nyx but quite honestly i think these palettes are like 35 bucks or something like that so it's not necessarily affordable but i do love this color mix I love this combination of shades. I have a lot of fun creating like really retro kind of funky type of looks with this palette. So yeah, I had to pull that. Next I have here a Morphe palette. This one is the 35M. I'm trying not to put my glasses on you guys, <laughs> but I can feel they coming. They coming, but this is the 35M. I think I might pull this palette like every year. I love this color story. Once again, the greens, the purples, the reds, it's just beautiful. And these palettes are really, really nice. I really enjoy the formula of these palettes from Morphe. So I had to pull this, you guys. Next, I have here a very specific palette, okay? This is the Beauty Bay, Beauty Bay Fiery Palette. I really like Beauty Bay's formula. I do. This is a 42 color palette. And of course, as you can tell by the packaging, that it's really kind of based around a red type, fiery type color story. But in here you get, you know, your browns, neutrals, you get your oranges, yellows, pinks, and reds. You get some really dark smoky shades down here. So I haven't used this palette yet. But for some reason, I just, I think it's a gorgeous palette. I really, really love this color story. It's not that wide of a range, but it's beautiful and I can't wait to use it. Okay, you guys. So I did go ahead and pull one of my Busy Art palettes. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes. Okay. I just, I love this color story. Which one is this? This one is the Dark Mats 04. This palette to me just screams fall, okay? Because although it is a colorful palette, they are like deeper, richer, warmer type, you know, colorful shades. So it's not that super bright summery and spring type vibe. I really feel like this is fall and I love this palette. Now, I did want to go ahead and pull, like you guys know, I have, well, if you watch me regularly, you know I have a bazillion single shadows, several of which are just out of this world amazing shimmers, but it's something about this Jungle Lights palette. I don't know what it is from Flower Beauty, but these shimmers here, when I put these on my lid, I just, I'm just like how are you a drugstore shimmer palette like how i love these shades and the tone and the feel and the vibe that they give me definitely says fall um the green the purple you know just it's, it's beautiful okay it might not look like much but i'm telling you these shimmers gorgeous next i have here another ace beauty palette another one of my favorites this one is the vintage dawn okay another one of those palettes where i just mm, just mm, okay <laughs> I, don't, I don't know i don't know certain color stories just take me there and this one takes me there i love this palette i believe i did a video doing an eye look with this palette if you're curious and you want to check it out definitely search through my videos for the look on this palette if i've used these palettes there's a good chance that there's a video on it or a look on instagram because that's what i do <laughs> but this one here yeah i love it perfect for fall next here i have a bh cosmetics palette okay can't have a 
fall palette selection without a BH palette, okay? So this is Beautiful in Barcelona. They have so many of their travel series palettes now, but this one, I think this one actually might be the first one that I purchased from them quite a while ago. Have always loved this color story, always loved just the arrangement of these shades in this palette, the performance of it. Really, really love it. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and revisit this, okay? Next, gotta have a Juvia's Place, of course. I think I have a few Juvia's Place palettes in here, but this is the Nomad. Another one that I kind of always lean towards during the fall. This one for sure. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette and it's like you know it has that green feeling theme but you know you got your little gold and mustard yellows the orange the yellow beautiful browns it's just if you like this color story this is an amazing palette to have so if you have it consider yourself lucky okay the wilderness palette this is another beauty bay palette this is one of their new earth palettes <laughs> love this okay I don't really know if this says fall per se, but you got your reds, you got your really pretty kind of like army type greens. You got some beautiful like aqua shades, some blues, gorgeous palette. I was checking this out not too long ago, kind of looking at it next to my uh, Melt Muerte palette and I was like, that's a little similar. Okay, so yeah, if you we're just dying to have the Muerte palette and you're like, man, I can't get a hold of it. I can't get it. You know, this might scratch that itch, okay? As a matter of fact, I think I pulled my Muerte palette. Yeah, I did. I pulled my Muerte palette from Melt. So we can take a quick look. But this is the Muerte. Um, I didn't pull the Vita. I don't know what it is about the Vita. I love oranges and greens and stuff together, but... I don't know. It's just something about that palette. It doesn't, it doesn't touch me like the Muerte. So this is the Melt Muerte on top, of course. And then this is the Beauty Bay here down below. So you can kind of check it out and see that they are quite similar. And I actually really, really like the Beauty Bay formula, like I said before. The Muerte, beautiful. Everybody doesn't necessarily like working with the melt um formula i do <laughs> but you know it's just an option because i know this is not available so yeah it's another option i actually probably won't keep both of these in my fall selections because they are so similar to each other okay so next this one i believe i got did i get this last year the Too Faced pumpkin pumpkin spice i should say very very pretty palette absolutely gorgeous now this palette while it is gorgeous creates a beautiful look it doesn't go as deep as i would like for it to go so um if i do use this i might kind of mix a black in that outer corner just to kind of deepen it up but it smells good too <laughs> but this palette so bomb so so bomb okay next oh a little pricey okay well it's not one of her most expensive palettes, but it ain't cheap, okay? This is the Natasha Denona, what is it, Metropolis? Yeah, the Metropolis palette. Definitely fall appropriate. And it has these beautiful pops of blue in there as well, but I feel like this palette screams fall. I haven't really just dived into this palette like I want to. I think I kind of shy away from it because... You know of the different formulas that are in here can be a little tricky a little frustrating if you don't really know how to work them out but i'm gonna dive into her this year okay so um yeah we'll do some fall looks with that next i have here nomad okay i haven't used this palette yet i purchased this quite a while ago probably during one of their sales but this is which one is this oh the marrakesh so this is called the marrakesh palette and this is what this palette looks like okay so very very pretty it has some uh warm browns in here yellows beautiful blues 
and it kind of goes here with the peachy tones and everything so very very beautiful palette definitely want to play with this because she's just sitting in my collection feeling all lonely so i'm gonna go ahead and play with her i told you guys i listen i have my little fall corner of makeup i'm not even gonna dig through my other palettes so this is what i'll be using for the next couple of months my she's in parties palette i was just talking about this one comparing it to the latest natasha denona that came out i love this palette beautiful for fall if you want to do a gorgeous mauvey burgundy type look this is your girl another melt palette the gemini listen we cannot have a fall selection of palettes without the melt gemini okay look at come on now tell me that doesn't say fall and as you can see, I have not beat her up yet. So that means I have not used her enough because <laughs> she is not beat up yet. I have I? Yeah, I definitely used this palette, but obviously I haven't dug in. But oh, I love this color story for fall. Now, this one is newer to my collection, but I have played with her. This is the Sydney Grace and Tentalia. This one on the horizons. And this one is the dark okay the dark palette for on the horizon and i was looking at this color story and i was like that kind of feels like fall for me definitely i love the sydney grace formula these palettes are really really nice create beautiful eye looks and you can kind of mix up the color stories if you have you know all three or a couple of them you can kind of mix and match them and stuff because they are magnetic but this color story in particular i felt like now that's something nice that i can play with for fall there's some beautiful shimmers in here oh my gosh gorgeous shimmers to pop on the lid so i think it'll be fun to have that palette in my fall selection this year next <laughs> one that might be a little bit unexpected this one is the bh cosmetics lunar new year now i didn't really hear too much about this palette probably because there's glitters in here when it came out earlier this year uh was it this year you know 2020 is a blur to me because it was so hectic so stressful just so crazy so i don't even know some stuff that came out in 2020 or 2021 it just all kind of went together okay so anyway but I fell in love with this color story when I saw it. I love the eye look I created with this palette. And it might not say fall to some of you guys because there's some really bright pops of color in here. But listen, child, I'll rock this in fall, okay? This green down here got this black, this burgundy. Got these beautiful warm tones in here you know you got the glitters although there are glitters in here these glitters are absolutely gorgeous okay just absolutely beautiful if you like glitter okay but yeah i would rock this all day long during the fall it's so pretty i love this palette i like how they did the packaging i think it is gorgeous so i'm excited to play with that some more okay I pulled a Cara Beauty palette. Okay, I have a few of these. This one in particular, the Desert Oasis. Y'all. Okay, look at this. She might not look like much, but I'm telling you, gorgeous, gorgeous. These shades down here, beautiful. These different tones of blue. You got some greens. Look over here. It's just like Smoke City. Beautiful, beautiful, different type of color story for fall. Okay. Everything doesn't have to be all the same for fall. You can kind of mix it up. You know, just kind of use some different shades. Smoke them out. Just all of that and get that nice, beautiful fall look. I like to do super bright, like orangey, yellow <laughs> brown warm eye looks for fall i mean if you search my channel that's probably what you're gonna find for fall but this palette here is so gorgeous it's so so pretty i hate trying to show you guys like what it looks like with this reflective background and everything because 
it doesn't do it justice but this palette is really really pretty you guys it's gorgeous okay you guys so i have a few more small palettes before i move on to my other makeup choices so i bought these smaller palettes from playing in makeup by yolando quite a while ago these were the smaller ones that she came out with with all of the like like chemistry type theme to them so this one is called the burning burgundies okay and i felt like this palette would be absolutely gorgeous if i wanted to do like a burgundy or red type look there's a glitter in here so you know it's kind of like taking away one of the shades for a glitter um these two up here are shimmers but very very pretty and it goes pretty deep so definitely wanted to try this out another berry tone palette this one's from juvia's place though so i love this palette <laughs> okay this one is the berries y'all beautiful okay so this one absolutely gorgeous as well i might actually well, i don't know because i was gonna say that i might actually um just choose one of these but i don't know in my opinion they're different enough for me to keep both i don't know we'll see but this is what they both look like so so beautiful i probably don't need both but if I do keep one, it would be the Juvia's, which I've already used. <laughs> so we'll see. I also pulled my chocolates palette from Juvia's Place. Definitely fall appropriate. This is a palette that a lot of people might use like every day. I love how deep it goes and how beautifully rich it is. So yeah, another one of my favorite fall palettes. And then I have a few Huda Beauty palettes that I did choose. This one is the Topaz Obsessions. Haven't tried this one out yet. Definitely fall appropriate. This one here is the Emerald Obsessions. I have used this, but I feel like I need to kind of play with it a little bit more. Beautiful greens in here. Gorgeous. And then lastly, I pulled the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions. I feel like you have to have a smoky themed palette but if you have other palettes that have like black and silver and these cooler tones taupes and things like that in it then you can create your own smoky look from that but this is a very very easy smoky eye palette right here so continuing on with a couple of items that I chose also for the eyes to use during the fall season, I chose a couple of really, really pretty eyeliner pencils. This first one here is from RK by Kiss. This is one of their perfect precision eyeliners. And this is a absolutely gorgeous blue shade. This one is called Navy Denim. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. You know what? I think I have it on my eyes right now. As a matter of fact, I do. But it is just a really, really pretty navy blue eyeliner gorgeous they're very smooth they twist up which i love because you don't have to use a pencil sharpener and they're just so super smooth and creamy so if you ever come across these liners like at your um, local beauty supply or online just know that these are the bomb and then i also chose this really pretty green one i'm pretty sure it's from the color pop and raw beauty christie collection maybe it rubbed off y'all so i don't even know my apologies um but i don't know for some reason i'm feeling like that is the collection that it's from but it's just a beautiful beautiful green shade and i know those colors will most likely go beautifully with the eye looks that i do so let's move on to some super shock shadows okay i chose a few of these because i never use them I always forget to use them and if i put them over here with my fall stuff then i'll probably use them so this first one here is main attraction so let me show you what this one looks like that is what main attraction looks like so it's a really pretty kind of like coppery shade very pretty next here i have coconut so this is um 
I think I might have gotten a replacement of this because I had this before, I believe, and it kind of dried out, but oh, this color is so, so pretty. So that one is called Coconut. Next, I have here a shade that's kind of unique for me to use. It's called Hammered. It's not a color that I would typically gravitate towards. I don't even really know how to describe this other than the fact that, yeah, it looks like a hammer. <laughs> the color of a hammer. But it's really, really pretty. So I want to play with that. Next, I have here Shameless. And this one is really, really gorgeous. So it's green, but it looks really, really shimmery and pretty in there, as you can see. And then the last Super Shock shadow I chose is called Wine Down. So wine is in drink wine, <laughs> wine down. And so that is what that one looks like. Just a beautiful burgundy shade. Burgundy is not a color that I typically put all over my lid. Right now I actually have a glitter on my lid and I love it, okay? <laughs> it's a color pop glitter, so I love that. Okay, so let's move on to some of the other complexion items that I chose for fall. It's basically just a bunch of blushes and highlighters because, you know, foundation and powder and all that stuff, you know, typically I just switch them out. But for fall, there are certain shades of blush that I really like and highlighter as well. So let's just run through these items right quick. So this first item here is from Grand Glow and it's a plumping liquid highlighter and this one is in the shade Bronze Beam. Now I got this in a boxy charm and I found that I absolutely love this. Love, love, love it. It's just, you can put it under your foundation or on top. It has a little applicator here, but what I do is I just go in, tap some on my cheeks and blend it out. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful, like, lit from within type of highlighter. Love that. I pulled this Too Faced, what is it called? Chocolate Diamond. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. This is what it looks like. And I use this for highlighter. I believe it's supposed to be, like, maybe a glowy bronze or something. But, you know, for me, this is a highlighter. And it is absolutely beautiful. Next, I chose my Kiss Glow and Bronze Powder. So this is um, a bronzing powder as well, but because of the shade for me, look at that. It is a highlighter and I have medium. So that is what she looks like. <laughs> you guys know it is so hard for me not to swatch this, but if you've watched any of my videos, shot my stashes and stuff, you know I've swatched this a million times. She is gorgeous, okay? And then I think lastly for highlighter, I chose this Milani Intense Bronze Glow. And this is one that I haven't used a lot, but she is really, really pretty. She is absolutely gorgeous. I wanna swatch this one just because I haven't used her a lot, so I'm not that familiar with her. Oh yeah, she's pretty. See, that. <laughs> That is what she look like. Okay. She is pretty. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, she's gorgeous. So that's the Milani Intense Bronze Glow. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these blushes right quick. I pulled this Rare Beauty Blush. This one is called Love. I think this is the only Rare Beauty Blush that I have. But I love this shade. That kind of like peachy terracotta type shade it's gorgeous i love it love it love it on the cheeks all year round but for fall it's beautiful i have a couple of blushes from lys this one is called passion their their packaging so cute with a little triangle so this one is called passion so it's that really pretty bold fuchsia shade so this will go gorgeous with some of those like beautiful burgundy type looks as well and this one is called inspire so another beautiful kind of terracotta peachy orangey type shade very pretty i just love that shade of blush on 
deeper skin tones. It's so, so gorgeous. I also pulled this Berry Spice Trio from Ulta Beauty. Ulta has some really, really nice makeup, okay? I like trying their beauty products because they're actually quite nice. And this is the trio of blushes that I chose from Ulta. Y'all, I didn't even realize how much stuff I chose. Your girl went ham, okay? I also chose my Revolution Pro Blush and Glow Trio. Absolutely beautiful. This one is the Cranberry Glow. So, once again, beautiful burgundy shade in there for blush. And it's like, you know, that glowy type blush. And then you have these two beautiful highlighters in here. So, I love this for fall. Now, these are new to my collection from DJ's Boutique. If you're not aware, DJ's Unique Boutique came out with some cream blush complexion products. And so I have these two in my stash here to play with. So this one is kind of like the chocolate shade. It's not the deepest brown. I'm sorry, I can't remember the shade name, but I have to put them on the screen if they have shade names. But this is beautiful for bronzing. And then I have this, another, once again, that gorgeous terracotta type shade for blush. I know, I know, but absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to play with those. Now for face products, um, kind of like all-in-one type situations, this one is my Revolution Pro Goddess Glow Shimmer Brick. Very new to my collection, and she is gorgeous, okay? I haven't even swatched this beauty yet. <laughs> I haven't even swatched her yet. She is so beautiful, okay? But as you can see, it has the blush, bronzer, and highlight in there. So I'm going to have some fun with this baby. I also pulled my ColourPop face palette. So this one has the bronzer, blush, and highlight. Beautiful shades for fall. And this one is actually the Sweet Roll cheek palette so i love this little quad from color pop and then lastly for the face i got this pure dark deep um four in one skin perfecting palette so if you watched my channel then you know i love this already this is a beautiful face palette okay i love this face palette these shades in here absolutely gorgeous for my fall makeup stash Okay, you guys, so all I have left is lips. So let's run through these lips right quick. These are the lip selections that I have for fall. So this first one is from ColourPop. This one is called Tea Time, okay? And I actually love their bullet lipsticks. They are so pretty. Look at that. Ah, gorgeous, okay? I like to do kind of like, you know, all of your lips for fall can't be dark. So I like to kind of mix it up a bit. So that is Tea Time from ColourPop. Um, I chose my Milani Sensual. Okay, it's one of these style of lipsticks. So this one is called Sensual. And it's one of their darker shades. So that's Sensual. Look at those two shades together. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so next here, this one is from Minted, and it's called Red Rover. So it's in this packaging. So let me go ahead and swatch. The, oh, Red Rover. Look at that. Gorge. Next, this one is beautiful. This one is from Jouer. And, oh, child, is bright and it's small. Via Con Condotti. Via Condotti, okay. <laughs> I have the, did I have, no, I had the NARS on today. Um, I was going to put this one on, but this one is a gloss, but it's kind of like a beautiful wine colored gloss. Absolutely gorgeous on the lips with a lip liner. Child is gorgeous, okay. This one here from Too Faced, this is one of their melted matte shades. And it's called Caramel Apple. I love, love, love this shade for fall. Ugh, it's so pretty. It's very, very unique to me. Look at that. Caramel Apple. And it smells good, too. This one I had on earlier today. With this eye look, I took some pictures for my Instagram. This is from NARS. 
and uh, Wild Night. Wild Night from NARS. So if you want to see what this looks like on the lips, I do have a picture and a video on my Instagram with the ColourPop Mood Eyeshadow Palette Eye Look. This is the lipstick that I have on right here from NARS. Ciao. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Now, this one I haven't used yet. This is from Tatiana Anissa Cosmetics. She just launched her beauty line. And so I wanted to go ahead and throw this in here so I can play with it. It's called Mocha. So let me swatch this one for you. So it's just a really beautiful chocolate shade. And it kind of looks like, you see that? Really pretty. I have to see how that dries down because I'm not sure if that's going to stay glossy or not. I don't think I'm going to swatch these. These are two of my Fenty Gloss Balm Cream shades. So I chose these two for my fall makeup stash. I also chose one of my Lifter glosses, but this one has a little bit of sheen in it. So it's really, really pretty. This one, what number is this? This one is 10 Crystal. So let me show you what this one looks like. So you can see that one has a little bit of kind of shimmer in the gloss. Looks really, really pretty on the lips. Next, I have here one of my Revlon Stay Color Satin Ink Shades. So this is the shade Speak Up. And I will go ahead and swatch this one. I love these colors. They're so pretty. So this one here down here is Speak Up. So that's a shade I would wear with a lip liner and just kind of do like a a light pouty type lip very pretty and then i have these three shades left so this first one here is from beauty vault this is a matte lipstick in the shade natty nat <laughs> i'm assuming that's somebody's name natty nat so let me swatch this one and i know i got this in like a boxy charm because i did not purchase this so that is what that color looks like right there. Kind of a brighter type red. This one here, I absolutely love. This is from Coco by Kylie Cosmetics. And this shade is Gorge. That's the name of it, but it is Gorge as well. This is what it looks like. I don't know. It's something about this color that just looks so, so pretty on the lips. And I love it. So that's it right there, Gorge. Really, really pretty. And then lastly, I have this ColourPop lipstick. It's an ultra matte lip in the shade Rooch from Karuche. I've had this forever. I probably should toss it, but it's so pretty. <laughs> she's so pretty and she still work, honey. She don't stink or nothing, so I'm keeping her. But that right there is Rooch. Perfect fall red shade okay so i am in love with the lip colors the lip shades that i have chosen for fall this is all of them right here you guys let me know what you think about my fall shade selections for lips eyes face cheek highlight i think that's enough okay the super shock shadows as well so that's it for my fall beauty selections for my little shop my stash for fall let me know what you guys are pulling to use for the fall season. If you got some of the same palettes or products as me out, if you like these lip products, let your girl know. Okay, so that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!